Listen, hey, I'm back with another video, bro. What y'all got going? How y'all feeling, man? I'm feeling pretty good. I ain't gonna lie. Just get out the shower. I hit that gym today. Shit. I'm in, I'm in the gym two day, uh, two weeks straight, bro. Right, I'm on like a 15-day streak right now. 15 days in the ride and hit the gym, bro. I'm feeling good. No cap. How y'all feeling? Drop a comment right now. Let me know how y'all feeling in the comments, man. Let's go. But, hey, um, y'all know 2K24 is on the way, bro. So we finna do another reaction video. I got a reaction video to this boy, my boy Joe knows, man. He talking about all NBA 2K24 badge requirements, the attribute raise, the height requirements for all 77 badges. Y'all know we getting hella new badges in the in the game this year, bro. So this finna be interesting for sure. We finna hop into it. This bitch 20, 25 minutes. God dizam. Must be a lot of info in this bitch. I might not, I might not post a whole 25 minutes because shit. That's long as hell, but without further ado, let's get straight to it. Let's rock out. Welcome back to another video. Today we have the NBA 2K24 complete badge requirements list. Okay, I'm going to break this down by category. So finishing, shooting, playmaking, and then screens, defense, and rebounding all in that last one. All right, so four different categories. Drop a like on the video, bro, right now if you're ready for 2K24. If you're ready for 2K24, drop a like on the video right now and comment what build you're making. Categories, I'll leave the timestamps in the description. Or else. We have each requirement in terms of height, rating, all that stuff for bronze, silver, gold, and Hall of Fame. So a ton of information. We're going to dive right into it. Drop a like on this video if it helps you out. Let's check this out. I'm not going to spend a lot of time going over every badge, just like maybe 10 to 20 seconds because there's a 77 badges in this game. I'm Hella sure. badges. I think 77 if I Hella. got it right. So check it out. Finishing badges to start. Acrobat, you got max height 611. You see the ratings here, 64, 76, 84, and 90 from 611. I've been thinking about going 611 for 2K24, so that's what I'm paying attention to. I'm paying attention to how tall you can make your build and still get all the badges you need to get buckets. That's what I'm paying attention to. No cap. Hall of Fame, respectively. All right, there's also trying to make the tallest build here. possible. You're see, and, and I'll talk about a few of them, but let's just dive into these ratings. You're also going to see this, right? So for Fearless Finisher, right? For Hall of Fame, you need 67 strength and either 95 close shot or 95 layup. So you're going to see a lot of these type of badges where you have a base rating you have to have and then you need either one or sometimes hmm. I'm pretty sure you need three different ratings, <laughs> three different attribute ratings to, to meet the requirements it? for one badge as you're going to see. Why is it so and, complicated? And obviously bro? that's going to affect how you make your build a lot. All right, float game right here. It's all driving layup, pretty self -explanatory. Hold on, bro. Let me get this beverage right. Uh, take the cup, different cup teas. Give me a minute. I always shake your juice up, bro. That's how you wake up the flavor. If you didn't know, now you know. Pull up. Pull up, Nick. Pull up. Let's get back to the video. Explanatory. <laughs> Giant Slayer, max height seven feet, and then it's close shot or driving layup. Um, <clears throat> requirements back activated. are Come on. listed right there. Obviously, pause as necessary. Masher, it's just straight close shot. Some of these ratings have changed from 2K23. Masher. You're gonna okay. see as well. Oop, forgot to. I like Masher. Space right if here. If you know, you know. Give it a little bit of a uh, clarity. All right. Posterizer. So. We have Pro Touch, either close driving, shot bro. or driving layup. Scooper, looking at straight driving layup rating, 88 Scooper. for Hall of Fame. That's a new badge. This is one of those and badges, okay? So for Posterizer now, you need a driving dunk rating and a vertical rating, right? I it's looking like Posterizer, all I'm going to need is the 86 driving dunk and a 75 vert because I don't really need gold Posterizer. As long as I can catch me a contact gun here and there. My nigga don't even, I don't even need to be overpowered just dunking on niggas, bro. As you can see, Hall of Fame is 99 driving dunk and 85 vertical. 90, 93 driving dunk and 80 vertical for gold. So before, last year, it was just straight off of your driving dunk rating. Now they incorporated vertical into it, obviously making it more expensive, which is going to limit what you can do with other things in the builder. As I'm going to get into my builder breakdown video when I'm allowed to on September 1st, okay? So September 1st. 
Turn on them notifications if today? you ain't already, because we got a ton of videos dropping on NBA 2K24 early access, helping you guys for day one. All right, precision dunker. It's either driving dunk or standing dunk rating. Rise up minimum height is six foot four, and it's standing dunk and vertical. Right, last year rise up was strictly standing dunk. Now it's standing dunk and vertical. That makes sense. Okay, 98. A business account could help boost your TikTok content. Come on with the ads, yeah. white man. Meet Anya. So you run. Standing dunk, 70 vert. Aerial wizard. Ton of requirements for this, right? You need a vertical rating and either a driving layup rating or a driving dunk rating or a standing dunk rating. So I guess I was wrong saying a ton of requirements, but you need a vertical rating and then either one of those three, either your layup, your standing dunk, or your driving dunk. Okay. Okay. Cool. You see the ratings right here. I mean, for Hall of Fame, you need 84 vertical and either 87 layup, 95 driving dunk, or 92 standing dunk. So that's pretty damn expensive for aerial wizard. All right, Bunny. Might not be rocking aerial wizard, but Brian, bro, I don't even know what he just said. That's a lot of numbers right there, though. God damn. It's a driving layup or a driving dunk. Ratings are as you can Bunny. see on the screen. The fuck that do? Fast twitch, close shot or standing dunk. Slithery, driving layup or Scoop. driving dunk, all the way up to 97 layup for Hall of Fame and 94 driving dunk for Hall of Fame. So, <clears throat> spin cycle, same situation, layup or uh, driving layup or driving dunk. The finishing gonna be Two overpowered in 2K24. Guys, look at all these damn badges. This is one of the new, like, power, kind of like bully. Again, I don't want to say too much because I don't. Actually, no, no, yeah, because my gameplay video dropped earlier. I can talk about this. Bulldozer is kind of like Bully, but you don't have to go up for a layup. If you haven't watched my gameplay breakdown video, make sure y'all go check that out because I explain a lot of these new badges. Yeah, I'm going to check that in out the too. gameplay breakdown, it's, you don't have to go up for a layup like you did with Bully. Bulldozer is more of a combination of like Clamp Breaker and Bully on the perimeter where it activates just from you dribbling, but as you can see... It's strictly tied to strength, and you have to be at least six foot five. We gonna get that. We gonna have that for sure. Another new badge called Whistle. It's either close whistle. shot or driving layup or driving. What? It, a badge called Whistle? Two K. What is that? What is? What is Whistle? What the hell? Y'all just making shit up, bro. It's not even a basketball term, bro. What is we a referee? You put this badge on, you can be a referee. You can make calls in the game and shit whistle come on bro that's not even that's not basketball bro dunk or mid-range or three point what are they right? doing uh back down punisher you got to be at least six foot four you're looking at post control and strength to unlock back down punisher okay i don't know did i say or i mean and post control and strength for back down punisher this year i think last year it was or I think you can get it from post control or strength. Now it's both, right? So Paul of Hand, you need 89 post control and 95 strength. You can't just be a big strong dude, but you don't you don't know how to operate in the post. You're not getting back down punisher. You gotta have both this year. I don't need that Dream shit. Shape. I shoot number fadeaways. It is looking at post control and either close shot that. or mid range, right? So I think before it was strictly post control. Now you gotta combine those two attributes, right? Making it more expensive like we've talked about. Drop stepper is straight post control. Hall of Fame is 95 post control. Post spin technician is straight post control. 90 post control for Hall of Fame. Hook specialist is close shot and post control. Post fade right. phenom. What the hell? 92 post shot and 86 post control for Hall of Fame. I'm scared of that one. Shot, 74 post control for gold. And down as you see. Another new badge, post fade phenom. I'm actually excited for this one. I'm going to use that hook. I'm not telling y'all what build I'm starting a game with, but I am excited for this badge, all right? Hall of Fame, you need post control? Yeah, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I like that. Post phase, Fina. Y'all know I've been shooting a lot of post phase lately on 2K23 with my 16. So, shit. It might get ugly with that motherfucker. I ain't gonna lie. Either 93 close shot or 86 mid range, all right? I'm gonna keep so, this in mind, too, when I make my player. Like, this whole ratings, list right here. And obviously, it's either close shot or mid range. You can pick one of those two, but you gotta have the post control to go with that close shot one. On to the shooting. Badges, right? We talked about finishing, Six eleven shooting. Mini magician, as you would expect, straight mid range. Okay, range. I'm like, yeah. Okay. Mid, uh, mid range shot. Okay. Agent threes, max height six eleven, right? So, if you if you're going for a KD build, gotta six eleven and below. Don't 
can't go with the seven foot KD build and expect to get agent threes or, or whatever you know whatever other tall player you're thinking about making six eleven and below agent threes Hall of Fame is ninety eight three pointer <laughs> ninety four three pointer for gold eighty six for silver and seventy six for bronze all right but so, I ain't gonna have no eighty six three pointer though the Hall of Fame Probably badges not. and some of these you know badges at least in twenty three that we thought were really good they're very very expensive this year play more. 92 three ball to get Hall of Fame Claymore. It's Claymore is strictly off three point rating. Corner specialist strictly off three point rating. Okay, Claymore. Um, Claymore decent bit. Sorry. This is a big one. Big changes to this. So last year, 85 three pointer would have got you silver. I'm gonna take that and put it with this. I'm gonna take this and put it with that. Bro, look at the edge. What's up? Come Looking on, for man. an easier way to get that LLC next to your business name? Say hello to Taylor Brand. You just go yeah, to their site. Uh, damn, your come on, man. The edge, Limitless. Bro. Now, 85 three pointer only gets you bronze. 92 last year would have got you gold. Now that only gets you silver. 96 three ball for gold. Bro, what is this inflation, bro? Like, is this, is this like inflation on the video game? Nigga, why the hell does it take a 92 three pointer to get a silver badge, bro? Nobody's gonna be shooting with limitless range for real, bro. You need an 85 three-pointer just to get bronze limitless range in NBA 2K24. God damn. That's outrageous, bro. That is outrageous, bro. Niggas is not finna be... 2K is just... They, they getting over, bro. They taxing for badges, too. 99 three ball for Hall of Fame. So, see the thresholds for limitless. They're definitely... They definitely ramped them up, making it a little bit harder to get those shooting, you know... Those good shooting badges are very expensive now. 96 for gold. I might make me a pure slasher. Look at this shit. Build. I had an 85 three ball silver limitless. You know, combine that with takeover and hot spots and all that stuff. You're shooting from half court. Now you only get it on bronze. We got to wait and see how the game feels in the park and whatnot and see what actual badge level and attribute level like thresholds are the most effective. But definitely something to think about. They're getting more... Uh, you know, more restrictive in terms of you gotta really amp up those ratings if you want those higher badges. Blinders, you're looking at mid-range or three-pointer, right? One or the other. Catch and shoot, mid-range or three-pointer, one or the other. Comeback kit is mid-range or three-pointer. Dead eye, same thing, mid-range or three-pointer. A lot of these are just mid-range or three, right? Dead eye, green machine, mid-range or three. Guard up, mid-range or three. Open looks, mid-range or three. Space Crater, mid range That's typical three, shit. but typical, with Space Crater max height again is 611. Okay, so some of these shooting badges are capped at that 611. I'm trying to see the playmaking badges, bro. Spot Finder, another new badge. You need acceleration and either close shot, mid range, or three point. All right, this is that badge I think they actually tweeted about. Well, yesterday I think we're gonna run this on gold for sure. Where it's basically like kind of like an off ball like. Dexer badge, right? If you dex off the ball, you know, you're playing real basketball, you're coming off screens, or you know, you, you, you're, you're, you're Clay Thompson, right? You're Steph Curry coming off a pin down, all that type of stuff. But in 2K, you know, we dex a lot off the ball to let the pass drag you into an area. All right, y'all get what I'm saying. Anyways, you need acceleration. Type shit, type shit. shot, mid range, or three pointer. And for Hall of Fame, I don't know how good the badge is going to be, but for Hall three of Fame, points. it's expensive. 93 I like acceleration. That. Cause I know I love I love shot, free throw. Range or ninety-three three point. All right, <laughs> free points is strictly based off free throw. Slippery off ball, max height is six. We actually got a badge for free throws. Based off strictly acceleration. All right, that's the shooting category. As I said, you can ride it back, pause as you need. We're on to the playmaking. Let's talk playmaking. Bail out. This is gonna blow a lot of y'all, a lot of your guys' minds. Max height six ten for bronze bailout this year. You need eighty-seven passes. God hours. damn. You heard that right. Bronze bailout is 87 pass accuracy. So if you want to, bro, why is all the badges so high, bro? You need now you you need a first you needed an 85 three pointer just for limitless range on bronze. You need an 85 three pointer. Now you need an 87 pass and accuracy for bronze bailout, bro. For bronze, that's crazy. Be one of these people. Going up for layups, contested, and then bailing out and throwing it over your shoulder and throwing it between your legs and throwing all these crazy bailouts just to get it on bronze. You got to go 87 on your pass. That's wild. You're not in the Hall of Fame, you need 99 pass. 
very, very expensive to get bail out and a max height is six foot ten. Great starter. They 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 amp this up too. Might not be using that motherfucker. Need. I don't like year, passing nowhere. 70, 76 pass accuracy. If I if I remember correctly, 76 was for gold break starter. Now you need 86 for gold. 75 is only getting you silver. 68 for bronze. 92 for all of it. Okay. Dimer, straight straight off pass accuracy. Bronze Dimer is only 56, but Hall of Fame is all the way up to 96. Okay, so a big spectrum there. 40 difference in attributes from bronze. Dimer ain't worth shit. Hall of Fame, definitely spread out. Neil that damn Dimer ain't Based worth the damn thing. Post playmaker, minimum height is six foot six, and it's pass accuracy and either post control or offensive rebound. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, because I think you can get it yeah, either off. Old more kick out or passing out of the post. So I guess that makes sense. That doesn't make sense. Relay passer is pass accuracy. A lot of these are going to be pass accuracy now. So relay passer, special delivery, and touch passer are all off pass accuracy. This touch passer badge, as you can see, they were talking about it on Twitter. I don't know if you guys saw the other day. It's supposed to help you, like, as if someone swings you the ball, and just as it sounds, you want to throw a quick touch pass to the next guy you want to throw. Bro, Hit a city gear as damn. Well as you need to make a statement this spring. Express yourself with bold design. Yo, no, you killing me with the no, ads, man. Get your money, more. but damn. You can't throw one more. That's gonna speed up the pass animation you're gonna damn. get. So it's gonna be interesting to see, especially in pro am and five v five, you know, gameplay, how that touch passer badge works. Um, <clears throat> ankle breaker. Right, this Six, is the nine? Category Damn. Now, but it's basically still playmaking categories. Just like I, I made a little subdivision in here for ball handling. All right. Ankle breaker badge. We'll do a space here to make it a little more clear. All right. Ankle breaker badge. Maximum height is six foot nine. For Hall of Fame ankle breaker, you need 93. Eh. This is strictly off ball handle rating. 62 all the way up to 93. Hall of Fame down to bronze, respectively. Big driver is a new badge. Minimum height, minimum height is 6'10", right? So your 6'8", your 6'9", ISO builds that you're talking about in 2K23, you're not getting this new badge called Big Driver. Big Driver, 6'10", and above. Big Driver, I like that. Hall this. of Fame, oh. ball handle 69, and speed with ball 65, and acceleration 60. So this like, is, I think, the first badge, or one of the first badges we've seen that, that require three different attributes. Now you might say, oh, when it's 69, 65, and 60, don't worry, there's gonna be some that are literally three attribute ratings in the 90s, right? You're gonna need like 90 something Excel, 90 something ball handle, 90 something speed with ball, you're gonna see in a second. But remember, these these seem low ratings, but this is for big men, right? This is for 6'10 and above. This is for your Giannis build that you wanna make. You want big driver, you gotta hit those attribute thresholds, all right? Blow by, maximum height is 6'11. This is really for those smaller guards if you wanna get this on a high level. Like obviously you can get this on a 6'10, 6'11, 6'9, 6'8, but you're gonna see these attribute ratings once you get in that builder, you're gonna notice uh, to get it on Hall of Fame, you gotta be, you're gonna have to be a little, you're gonna have to be a little guard. Cause look at this, Hall of Fame blow by, 97 ball handle. I don't need that, bro. 89 speed with. You don't need Hall of Fame blow by, bro. If you know what you're doing, niggas can't play defense on this game, no way. All you gotta do is to do one little move and you you can get by the ass. Oh, and 90 acceleration. Don't so put that badge on, bro. 89 is just below 90, obviously. But I don't recommend it. All in the 90s just to get this one badge on Hall of Fame. Right? Even for gold, you need 92 ball handle, 83 speed with ball, and 83 acceleration. So as you can tell by these ratings, I can't go too deep in because I have to wait until the embargo lifts on the builder stuff. But if you're basing it even just off common 2K knowledge, on a tall build, you're not getting 97 ball handle. And even on a tall build, to get 92 ball handle is pushing it. Like, how many 2Ks have we seen where you can get 92 ball handle on a, like a 6.9 or a 6.8? Like, this doesn't happen. Last year on a 6.8, the highest ball handle you get was 89. Excuse me. So, that's for the blow-by badge. I'm not going to dive too deep in because I don't want to say anything I'm not allowed to say. All right, we got to wait for that builder video. we got to wait for September 1st, right? By the way, if any of this is helping y'all out, make sure y'all drop a like on the video, okay? I'm trying to help y'all not mess up your first build. Because nothing worse than making that trash first build on day one, and then you got to buy a VC to buy it, to, to freaking make a new one. That's just... Everybody go through it, man. Happens to the best of us, bro. We make that first build, game first come out, we think we know everything. Then a week later, 
you realize your shit trash. It ain't no worse a feeling than that, man. You, when that game first come out, niggas be in that builder for hours, boy. Niggas be in that in that player builder, doing calculations on the calculator. They looking shit up. They calling their homeboy, sending the picture of the build to them in the group chat and shit. I know how that shit be, bro. To still make a weak ass build, did all that work, and your build still suck. Day one. So now you gotta dig in them pockets, boy. You got to dig in them pockets and you got to make a new bill. And you better not fuck up the next one. So, or else. Um, handles for days. Max height Happens to the best of us, man. based off ball handle and stamina, right? Handles for days used to be based off strictly ball handling, I think. Now it's ball handle and stamina. Hall of Fame, 95 ball handle, 99 stamina. Pretty expensive, right? 95 ball handle is a very high ball handle range. It's height looking like we're going with 610, boys. 610. Or six eleven, I don't know. For Hall of Fame, ninety one speed sure. with ball and oh, ninety speed. This is for hyperdrive. I mean, even to get it on uh silver, seventy five speed with ball and eighty speed. Like you guys are starting to see how they're tying things in, tying attributes together to unlock certain badges, making it more expensive to Make a really, really old, like well rounded build that's good in every category, right? You could be average in every category. We're still gonna figure it out. In every category, it's tough because you have to upgrade multiple different things, right? You can't just cheese one rating, like, you can't just put my speed with ball up to get hyper. No, you need speed and speed with ball. Like, we, up here to get blow by, like we said. You can't just be like, oh, I'll just put my ball handle up to 97 and I'm good. No, no, no. You need 97 ball handle and 89 speed with ball and 90 acceleration, right? That so is that's, tough, that's bro. Really taking away a lot of good thing I ain't making my shit that hard. At Hibbit City Gear, our mission is clear. To inspire self-expression from toe to head. One customer, one outfit, and one community at a time. <laughs> Killer combos, max height is six this nigga getting guap off, off them damn rating, ads, boy. Oh my goodness. Physical handles. Are bro, you killing me with the ads, bro. It's like seven ads in a 25-minute video, bro. God damn. Two badge, max height is six ten. Can I please get some of that ad money? All the fame, physical <laughs> handles. 80 ball handle and 83 strength. See how it goes down from there. I'm very interested to see how this badge ends up working out and if it's going to be worth it. Or if it's another physical uh, handle, wasted like strength, strength badge, like how uh, like bully kind of turned out. I have a feeling that well, I don't want to say anything. I'm gonna wait. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna wait till the build it thinks I can't talk about certain things. Okay. Speed booster. This is basically your quick first step now. Speed booster is essentially your quick first step. The max height is six foot nine for Hall of Fame. Ninety five ball handle. 91 speed with ball and then either 92 speed or 93 excel very very expensive think about last year right it was called quick first step it wasn't called speed booster but essentially last year for this to get it hall of fame all you needed was 89 ball handle that's it it's basically cheap and it's probably the best playmaking badge in the game because it makes you speed boost faster but they changed it now essentially to speed boost faster i mean the damn badge is called speed booster Looking at 95 ball handle, 91 speed with ball, and either 92 speed or 93 excel. Even on gold, look at gold. 92 ball handle with 83 speed with ball and either 86 speed or 87 excel. That's it's a lot of fucking numbers, bro. That shit. Expensive. That shit complicated, bro. Those ratings, that's putting a lot of attributes into that right, area. Bro. I'm thinking of it from like a little, a little kid perspective, bro. Like you think a little kid, like a 12, 13, 14 year old. It's really finna pay attention to this shit, bro. Like, they just trying to make a building hoop, bro. Like, they not trying to go through all this complicated ass shit, bro. Just a hoop, bro. I'm not either. But, you know, I'm a little bit older than 14, 13. So, it's like, shit, I'm gonna at least take some time to make sure my shit right. You know, the numbers and shit. Especially if I'm putting my money on this shit, you know. This shit expensive. Yeah, this shit high. But that's kind of that's crazy, bro. How they how complicated they making this shit. The last two badges we have for playmaking: triple strike, max height is six eleven. You need ball handle and speed with ball and acceleration for Hall of Fame. Ninety ball handle, eighty nine speed with ball, eighty five acceleration. Last but not least, unpluckable. 
It is based off of post control or ball handle, just like last year, but that's only up until gold. To get Hall of Fame unpluckable, you can only get it off ball handle this year. So like last year, people would make those builds with Why is it off two different things, to get man. the Hall of Fame unpluckable. You can't, you can't finesse it like that this year. 98 ball handle for Hall of Fame. Post control, or for gold, I'm sorry. For gold, post control 80 or ball handle 90. You might just go 80 post so control and like mid, you gold, know what I'm saying? Go crazy you like that. Ball handle or 80 post control. I'm gonna, but I'm gonna make something crazy. As you see, a trickle down, I already know. Screens, defense, and rebound is the last category. Brick wall based off strictly um, strength. Okay, 99 strength for Hall of Fame, 90 for gold. Anchor, minimum height is 6'7. This is based off. Oh, this defense, defense shit. Uh, oh, dude. Okay, as you see, it trickled down to gold, silver, bronze. I don't be paying that much attention to defense. I don't know about y'all, but. I guess if you were locked down, but I ain't no locked down, bro. You do have to invest some into strength to be able to get clamps, and obviously clamps help with bump animation. So I don't really give a damn about defense. I don't give a damn about defense. I'm trying to get a bucket. Yeah, I know that. I'm trying to get mine. <laughs> We're interceptor. That's all I need to see. I'm trying. To, I'm in the passing lane like crazy though. Excel didn't affect how they slid their feet, and Excel didn't affect how fast they ran. So there's no reason for them. Acceleration doesn't affect how you slide your feet. Your lateral quickness. Your lateral quickness is still tied to your perimeter. What Excel Move, but it affects you getting a badge that affects how you move. I know I just said a whole bunch of stuff. Maybe you need to rewind that, but I think it. I ain't rewind the shit. <laughs> I feel like it made sense. If Talking you your ass. Me. All right. <laughs> Off ball pest is strictly. At Hibbit City Gear, our mission is clear: to inspire self-expression from toe to head. How many ads One is we gonna get, bro? Perimeter defense. That's like the seventeenth ad in a twenty-five minute video, gang. God damn, like you, like you killing me with the ass. Like the ass just knocking me, out. like they knocking my ass out, bro. I can't even. God damn. Pick Dodger. Come on, man. Max height is 6'10, strictly perimeter defense. Shit. Love. Max height, 7 feet. And it's strictly based off of steel. 99. Okay, so interceptor, you need a 60 steel for bronze, 81 steel for silver. 89 is kind of it's kind of high it's kind of pushing it it depends on what type of build i make but i'm either gonna have i'm either gonna have silver or gold interceptor for sure maybe silver but it depends on how like how i finesse it if i get 89 steel then i go for it but if not i ain't tripping because for glove you need bronze that's, uh, I don't like how they did that, them numbers, bro. You got to come all the way to 85 steel to get glove. And that on silver. Steals for Hall of Fame, 91 for gold, 85 oh, for silver. I guess. We will figure that shit out. For bronze. So they lowered the uh, gold threshold. Last year was 95. Now it's 91. Um, I think silver was 85 last year. And I don't know what bronze was last year. But, yeah, they lowered gold for sure. Uh, Hall of Fame is still 99. Interceptor, 95 steel for Hall of Fame. I think last year it was 99. And then gold last year was 90. Now it's 89. All right, so 95, 89, 81, 60, respectively, from Hall of Fame to bronze. Right stick ripper. This is a new badge. Right stick Max ripper. Max seven feet. 96 for Hall of Fame, 90 for gold. That's the one where you use the right stick, and if you flick it in the right direction, it helps you get either um, glove steel or if you flick it for a lane, Interceptor steals. Immovable enforcer. Me, uh, middle. We might be using a right stick ripper. Cause you only need an 84 for that, and you can get both type of steals. You can get glove steals, and you can get interceptor steals with the right stick ripper. So we might just rock out with that and just learn how to steal with the right stick and be straight. Minimum height is six foot five. This is a badge that Wolf explained to me. Basically, it's a badge that will help you. Win those body up animations, not only on the perimeter, but also in the paint, okay? So it's in, I'm gonna be interested to see how this works out in terms of how lockdowns play and stuff like that. But it's based off of strength, strictly off of strength, a, a, a defensive badge that helps you on the perimeter and the paint, basically 100% uh, based off of strength, okay? A movable enforcer. Basically a counter to all those new, big power playmaking badges that we saw earlier. 
94 feet max height is six foot eight and it's based off perimeter defense and stamina pogo stick minimum height is six foot four pogo is based off of vertical and either block o board or d board you see the ratings right here for hall of fame or d board vertical, either 97 block 97 o board 97 d board workhorse even something as simple as workhorse. This year, you need stamina in either interior defense or perimeter defense. Man, a whole lot of I'm shit, scorer, man. Huh? I'm not making a lock. Um, I'm, not, I'm not making a lock either. So, like, this defensive shit, really. I just need to see the rebounds and the steals, bro. That's the only defense I need anyway. <laughs> last but not least, the two last badges, rebounding badges. Box out beast, minimum height, six foot three. Yeah, we're going to have that on silver. We're going to have that on silver for sure. It's based off strength and either O board or D board. You see for Hall of Fame, you need 90 strength and either 93 O board, 93 D board. And last but not least, we have rebound chaser based off of strictly O board or defensive rebound. 99 for Hall of Fame, 92 for gold, 83 for silver, and 60 for bronze. If you haven't checked out my NBA 2K24. All right, man. There y'all have it, bro. There's all the NBA 2K24 badge requirements for 2K24. It's a lot of numbers, bro. This shit really complicated. This shit overly complicated. 2K just wanted to make niggas' brains hurt. And, yeah, they want to see us struggle. And they want to see us make one deal. And then realize that, oh, shit, I can't even get this badge. Or I can't even get this animation. Because they made it so goddamn complicated. So then they want you to go make another beer. That's all 2K wants you to do, bro. Oh, they not slick, bro. They not fooling me. They might be fooling y'all. But they, they can't fool me, bro. I see right through this shit. So, uh, day one, I will be taking my sweet time making my player, bro. I'm not going to rush this shit. Look at all these goddamn numbers, bro. Look at all this shit. All these ores and sh you need this. What's up, everyone? It's Kayla on behalf of Grammarly. To tell bro, these you all ads, these the ads crazy, bro. Joe knows, gang. You need your ads whooped for these ads, bro. That's a, that's another thing too. Like you need your ads whooped for all these ads, bro. I finished the video already, gang, and I'm just trying to rewind it. But I get hit with an ad. God damn. But um, I will be on stream making my player. So if you don't follow me on Twitch, you're gonna do that right now. Um, smash the like button, subscribe button to the if you're, this is your first time watching my videos or you ain't subscribed to the channel yet. Hit that subscribe button right now. Join the Discord link down below in the description. 2K24 on the way, man. On the way, on the way. I'm gonna see y'all in the next video, man. Stop playing.